Okay, this is Roth Conrad on American Safari. Today I'm here with Patrick Lynch, uh, another one of my good friends. He lives with Jen. I guess him and Jen are kind of together. Um, I've been staying in their front yard, and uh, they're helping me out with the testing of my interviews. We're at Olive Oil Company right now where Jen works. We're hiding in the back. Here we go. Okay, good evening, Mr. Lynch. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. It's all right. I snuck up on you. It's, it's part of the safari thing. <clears throat> um, so, why don't we start with a quick description of your life up until now? <laughs> <laughs> Easy question to start with. All right. Um, I grew up uh, here uh, in uh, Sarasota and uh, went to school here and lived here my whole life and um, uh, started playing music at a young age. What kind of music? Uh, uh, I play the, the tenor saxophone. Are you always the tenor? You never switched it up? Or? No, it's always the tenor. Okay. Um, I like the, the sound the best on the tenor. It's closest to the human voice. So I did that, and then I stopped doing that for a while. And then I did some other things. And then uh, recently I've come back to doing that uh, quite a bit. So that's basically your life, is music, or what, the, the best parts that you remember anyway. Do you have any good childhood stories? or? Um... Gosh, I don't know. Um, wish I could have seen the questions I was going to be asked before I was asked them. I'm just making them up as I go. These aren't even written oh, down. Oh, um, um, I had a good childhood. Uh, my mom was a single mom, and uh, uh, she would work uh, two and three jobs sometimes to uh, to make ends meet on holidays and Christmas and such. Um, uh, so I had a good childhood. Um, right now, nothing really. I don't have any great stories. All right. So how about when you're meeting somebody new currently? What would you tell them that you do? Um, I tell them that I play saxophone, I ride my bike, and I hang out on my really awesome front porch um, with uh, my friends Jen and Roth. So if you're filling out a survey and it asks for your list of hobbies, uh, they would be playing saxophone, hanging out on really au- my really awesome front porch, and riding my bike. Yes, except that to, I wouldn't list saxophone as a hobby. Playing music is something that I, that, that's what I do, really. It's really the only, it's one of two things that I'm really good at. What's the other? Um, I, it turns out I'm pretty good at my job. What's your job? Uh, well, my job, my job, and I'll define job as the thing that I do to make money. Right, for a living. To pay the, the thing bills, I do a living to, feed your kids. So that I can afford to do all the other things I like to do. Um, I work, um, I'm, uh, I'm a fireman. A fireman? For the Sarasota County Fire Department. It's true. Do they? Do I? Do we have to get this interview approved with them before I put it on the website? Perhaps. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> All right. Um, is there anything special about your bike? Um, my bike. It's black. Um, it has two wheels and a chain. Um, it doesn't have any brakes. Is that what you're getting at? I don't know. I was just no. getting anything. I was just asking. Uh, I thought you were How do you say. stop if it doesn't have any brakes? Um, uh, you have to be clever. And uh, oh, I'm clever. That's something else I should have mentioned about myself. Being clever. Right. I'm clever sometimes. Um, but no, aside from the fact that it has no brakes and no gears, there's nothing interesting about it. Okay. How about um, any like fun vacations or anything that have stood out? Like any, any neat things that you've done in your life? Um, I've done a lot of neat things in my life. Uh, fun vacations, though. Recently, um, this girl that I'm in love with, um, her name is Jennifer, and we went to... Uh, to New York recently, uh, last month actually, uh, and that was a really really cool trip. We were there kind of it was half business, half uh, half pleasure. Um, but I took uh, I took her to a show that I wanted to see. It was a, a live music show, um, and it was really really great. It was like uh, it was like transcendent. It was uh, music was really terrific. What did you like most about it? Um, it was. Uh, the fact that I can't really even describe what kind of music they played, um, it was, uh, it kind of crossed and it transcended all. Do you know the name of the group? Can we? The name of the band was uh, Alas No Axis. And it was a quartet. Um, it was a, a saxophone, uh, drums, the drummer actually leads the band. His name is Jim Black. Um, saxophonist is a guy by the name of Chris Speed, um, and I really enjoy what, what he's doing musically. Um, electric bass and electric guitar. And they're both from uh, Europe, and they got funny names like Sven something or other. Um, but it was really good. I, uh, 
if you found it in the record store, it would be classified in the jazz section. Um, but it really kind of is there a, a website that we can link to underneath the video? Maybe. Uh, for the band? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Maybe we can find it. I think it's. Um, well, well, we can look it up later. And sure. Put the yeah, link. he's got a website. It'll be under the video. All right. All right. Um, how about? Uh, do you have any like dreams or ambitions, like something like, like your ideal life? Are you living it, or is there something that you would like to see happen? I'm living it right now. However, it's um, for the past uh, ten years, it's been changing. Um, it's been changing tr- pr- pr- pretty dramatically. Um, I was. Uh, uh, ten years ago, I was uh, single and um, had just started playing music again and was in a very popular band and was making my living solely playing my saxophone um, around town. And then, uh, what band was that? Uh, it, was a, it was a ska reggae band called The Strange Ways. Do they have a MySpace we can link to or anything? Uh, they do. It's thestrangewaysband.com. Uh, we'll link to that, too. So. We should. Uh, but they're, they're great. They're fun. So I did that for a while. And then, um, and then a series of events uh, in my life... Um, with different people and family type stuff uh, kind of took me away from that. Um, and uh, just recently, um, getting back to it, uh, but in a different way, in a more intense way, um, that, I, that I really like. And in answer to your original question, um, the life that I'm living right now is really awesome, and I wouldn't really change anything about it. So, Although I, I suspect that my current life is going to change um, pretty drastically in the next few years, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to that too. All right. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Have you seen any good movies recently? Or no. Any, any, any bad movies you want to rant on yeah. for a minute? Yeah. Uh, we saw Transformers, uh, Transformers 2. Uh, it, it may be uh, with uh, the movie Howard the Duck uh, from the 80s, um, one of the two worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, last night we went and saw uh, the uh, Harry Potter um, and the something or other prince. Um, it was awful. Um, that's not fair to say it was awful, because uh, nothing happened. If something had happened, it was awful. Nothing happened. I felt the same. It was kind of like... The, you saw the, Yeah, the previous Harry Potter... was really good. Was like the a end lot of the big fight scene with the fighter in the right. sand and the awesome. water, and like, wow. This one, yeah, nothing really happened. It was just like... Ooh. How about uh, some interesting websites? I know that you got interesting websites. Um, so, uh, the websites that interest me probably don't interest most people. Um, there, there's a couple of music-related uh, websites... Uh, uh, like I said, this guy Chris Speed, he's a, a, a tenor saxophonist, lives in Brooklyn, New York. Um, he's got a website. There's not too much on it, but he'll put links to other music-related things cool. that I find interesting, reviews and concerts upcoming and such. Uh, there's another guy, Dave Douglas, uh, davedouglas.com. Um, he's got a blog with a whole lot of really interesting music and non-music-related uh, things. Um, uh, NewYorkTimes.com. Uh, I'm there every morning. Um, do they have a chat room or something people can find it? <laughs> <laughs> they should. <laughs> um, so we'll provide some links. How about, like, uh, what is it, Stuff on My Cat or something like oh, that? Oh, StuffOnMyCat.com. Um, uh, my, uh, my life partner, um, Jennifer Nugent, um, is a big fan of StuffOnMyCat.com. And she's been uh, working with our two cats, um, but she hasn't come up with anything really quite brilliant enough to post yet. I'll get there. Um... About, I heard you talking. Was it you that was talking about uh, the bike lane, like gorilla bike lane? Okay, so I like riding my bike a lot uh, around town, and I recently saw on a website um, these. Uh, it was two products that were for sale. Um, well, the gorilla bike lane. I, I read a, a news article, and that's what got me on the topic. That apparently in some major cities where the bikers don't feel that there's adequate bike lanes and safe bike travel through their cities, they're taking it upon themselves to take uh, paint and paint their own bike lanes on the major roads through the city, uh, which is illegal and probably very dangerous to do, um, but it is bringing awareness to, to bikes on the roads. And there was also a gadget, though, that... Uh... The, the gadgets, yeah, there were two of them, actually. One was actually a, a, a red uh, laser light, um, that you attach to, to the rear of your bicycle on the seat or the seat post um, and it projects on the ground behind the bike um, a red laser image of a bike lane um, with a little bike guy and stuff and it makes a laser image on the ground behind you which at night is very highly visible to cars and such and, whatnot. and then there was another one where it's a chalk dispenser it actually puts chalk on your, your real wheel so as you drive around town it makes did, you, did I show you that one? No. it makes these chalk lines throughout town 
Can you find those again so we can put links to them? I can. All right. Well, we're going to have to wrap it up. Yeah. Um, can I post this on my website? Yes, you may. Awesome. And say hi to Mom. Hey. Hey, Mom. All right, everyone. This is Roth Conrad on American Safari. Um, second interview with my good friend Patrick Lynch at the Sarasota Olive Oil Company. Good night.